Hey, welcome back to my channel, which is the Yari Civil Engineering Ki, and I hope your the Yari of Civil Engineering is going good, just like mine. So today's topic is component parts of environment, or we can say uh, four very different parts of Earth sphere. Let's begin. Our planet is made of four very different parts, and this all four works together and make our Earth lovely place that we know it is to be. We call this part sphere. Earth has a four sphere first geosphere second biosphere third hydrosphere and fourth is atmosphere let's start with the atmosphere atmosphere is the protective cell of the gases over the earth it is extended up to 500 kilometers from the earth's surface and in the atmosphere there is the mixture of gases like 78 percentage of nitrogen 21 percent of oxygen and one percentage of others on the basis of temperature atmosphere is subdivided into four other layers first is troposphere troposphere is in the range of 0 to 11 kilometer and the temperature is between 15 to minus 56 degrees celsius it is the bottom most layer of the atmosphere it is the sphere where the weather happens and the air we breathe is exist. With the increasing height, air temperature drop uniformly with the altitude at the rate of 6.5 degrees Celsius per kilometer. And this phenomena is called as the environmental lapse rate. Second is stratosphere. Toposphere ke upper stratosphere hota hai and it is in the range of 11 to 15 kilometer. Temperature is minus 56 to minus 2. This layer is free from the clouds and ideal for flying aeroplanes. Ozone gases are present in these layers. Now, third layer is mesosphere. It is lies above on the stratosphere and it is coldest layer of the atmosphere. It is in the range of 15 to 18 km and the temperature is minus 2 to minus 92 degrees Celsius. And the fourth layer is thermosphere. It is the uppermost layer. Within this layer, many satellites circle the earth because of thin air and proximity to the sun. Temperature in the thermosphere increase and decrease rapidly. It is in the range of 80 to 500 km. Next is hydrosphere. It is the water sphere consisting of all water bodies. Ocean, sea, lake etc on the earth's surface about 71 percent of earth's surface is covered by water without water human beings plants and animal cannot survive water cools the atmosphere and also main source of the rain on the earth the ocean lake streams groundwater rivers and of course rain are the parts of the hydrosphere. The three-fourth of portion on the earth's surface covered with the hydrosphere. Now next is lithosphere. Lithosphere is the solid crust of the earth and the average thickness is about 100 kilometers. The lithosphere include rocks, soil, sand, stone, plants, etc. The surface of the lithosphere is very uneven. It constitutes high mountains, flat areas and deep valleys. And the last is biosphere. It is the area of the planet where the organism live. Atmosphere is the layer of air. Geosphere is the layer of rock. And the hydrosphere is the layer of water. Since the life exists on the ground, in the air, in the water, the biosphere overlaps all these layers. Let's take a small example. In this picture, bird is there, deer standing on a grass, river is passing and tree and mountains are there. Can you tell me what belongs to which sphere? As we know, there is nothing allowed in geosphere. So all the plants and animals are removed. And the water is also removed. As we know, water is count in hydrosphere. So the rock, soil, mountain and the bed where the stream water flow through is belong to geosphere. Now everything which is alive is count on biosphere. So the rock, 
mountain stream are removed now just left with all the living things like bird grass and deer if you like this video please turn that black thumb into blue one and don't forget to subscribe me and hit that bell button see you